Thank you and good evening. Thank you to Key Radio and Lord. I always、uh, enjoy his show, all the songs that he plays.、Um, I want to thank him. And good evening. This is K I L I Storytelling Hour. And I come up here every Wednesday from 5 until 6 o'clock. And this evening I have a Ikutomi story. And I think it's okay to tell Ikutomi story because the days are short and it's going to be. Just before I came in, I, I looked to the west and the sun is about to go down. So it's okay. And、uh, my name is Brian t r a j a n Cloud, and my wife is here, but、uh, she.、Uh, I might talk her into saying a few words, just a few words. We might talk about gardening, because she's really into gardening. And、uh, before I go on, I wanted to uh, uh, say good evening to Tom. If you're on the road, I w o u l always say、uh, good evening to Tom. And also, Tim. Tim、uh, helps out a lot at the school. Uh, he works very hard and is one of the,、uh, I might say, best workers. Very good. He, when he does something, he finishes it. And he talks Lakota, fluent Lakota. And Charlie, up in uh, uh, Marzola, Otoahe. Martin, I hope that's right, Marzola. Last time I said, Ian Shala, Pajola. Now, Charlie, if you're listening,、uh, I want to say good evening. And I will touch on basketball later on because Charlie really likes basketball. And、uh, because I listened to、uh, some really good games on the radio the last few days, so I will touch on those. And、uh, <clears throat> I want to thank,、uh, I think I thank Larry, but I want to thank Kitty Radio for this one hour of storytelling. And also,、uh, I want to thank the family up in New、uh, Camp Concord, New Hampshire. They、uh, record these, all these shows, and it's all in Lakota, especially on Saturdays, it's all in Lakota. On Wednesdays, we have it in English and Lakota. Well, right now, that Saturday show,、uh, see,、uh, we don't put it on the, on the、uh, internet, so we're not getting a lot of hits, but、uh, I'm going to start putting that somewhere on the internet so that people that want to study can go to、uh, Google and listen to it. So, thank you. For doing that. Thank you very much. And、uh, my wife is here with me, Karen, and、uh, later on I'm going to talk her into、uh, saying a few words. Announcements.、Uh, I look at the Mother New District School, and we have Culture Night on Wednesday nights from 6 to 8. But tonight, We have a basketball game. Pioneer just playing one of them just to school,、uh, eighth grade. And they have A, B, C, so it's going to go until 7 30. So we, we will we will have our culture night tomorrow night from 6 to 8. And we have, whenever we have a culture night, we have three, two or three presenters. And tomorrow night, Uh, I think Tyler, he lives up in、uh, Kiza Park. He's going to do a presentation on, I think it's、uh, horses. And I have、uh, Leola, Leola l u n g f e a t h e r She will be doing、uh, um, a, 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 I think they said star knowledge, but she can do whatever she wants to do. And then Karen's going to do sounds, Lakota sounds. So we、uh, 
if she's ready. Okay, and so, and then um, because uh, like I was saying, um, I listened to uh, uh, I think on uh, the Golden West Channel Two. If you ever uh, like on weekends, they had this uh, tournament at Mitchell on uh, Channel Two, and. Uh, uh, I don't know, I forgot what day that was, but uh, they had White River and Del Rapids. So I listened, uh, so I sat down and watched it right there um, at home on Channel 2 or Golden West, uh, the TV cable. And it was a really good game. And uh, well, White River was ahead all the way. By over eight points, and they, I think they're beaten by. Uh, so I remember the score it was 80 to 64. And Del Rapids was ranked number one uh, in the A, State A. Right where it was B. And later on this month, uh, Tom was announcing last night that uh, the other night that right where they will be playing uh, St. Thomas Moore. And right now, St. Thomas More jumped to number one, and then afterwards, I think, went down to uh, number two. But that's going to be a good game. So, Charlie, if you're listening, uh, on February 25th, I believe, in Rapid City, it's going to be a good game. And then uh, I listened to uh, Pine Ridge and Red Cloud game. And that was a very good game. Except, uh, I think, Prime Ridge was ahead by 20 all the way over the club. So, Prime Ridge is getting ready for the districts. And then last night, I listened to a really good one. Uh, Kyle and Pine Ridge ran down to the wire. And Pine Ridge won by, I believe it was two points or three points. So, we're getting some good games, Charlie. You're listening. Uh, it's getting down to district time. Okay, and then uh, the other day uh, I was on uh, Saturday. Uh, I was talking to my cousin Robert over up here. Every Saturday morning we come up here and talk Lakota. And uh, we wanted to uh, uh, Saturday. Uh, we're going to touch on the Lakota language. And uh, today uh, at work, I, was, uh, I didn't really uh, ask other schools, but uh, we we're going to talk about uh, like each school. We do a different, uh, I would say, uh, method, uh, like a. Uh, when they mean we have Lakota language uh, every day for 30 minutes. All the grades have Lakota language for 30 minutes every day. And uh, the other, uh, we have K1 and 2. Uh, we, we, do, we do Lakota language as much as we can and still uh, we stay within like the state standards, uh, the local standards. For, so, uh, no matter how we go about it, when we're a grant school, uh, we still have to do this, this reading, math, we have to do. So, there's no way around it. So we wanted to talk about, like, ask other schools to see what, what they're doing. Like, uh, maybe some schools do three times a week for, I don't know, one hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Maybe some schools do Lakota language once a week for each grade, maybe for 45 minutes. And then what kind of methodology each one uses. I mean, if we can get that information, it would be really nice. 
Nurchen Sunday when we all work together then maybe we can use the best the, the best methodology uh, the time and make uh, our, like my my goal my dream is to make one or two or maybe a whole bunch of Lakota speakers before like, like today uh, this is my uh, whatever I believe in uh, what I know it's not uh, scientific uh, research that I got this information from but it's from me and I go around all the schools, all over. Well, Standing Rock, Shine River, Rosebud, right here in Pine Ridge, Malibu, Oak Creek, Sisseton. And I know that uh, it's, it's, it's something that is happening. Um, Sometimes we don't want to believe it, or sometimes we just want to look the other way. What I see and what I know is that uh, none of our children are human. This is, this is what I see. Maybe you know a child that is fluent. But when we say fluent, we may have different, uh, like, uh, affluent to me is somebody that I can sit here and talk to, like uh, my nephew, Baha. He used to come up here and uh, he comes up here with me. And he will sit here and uh, he will read the, the story in the English language. And I will read I'll do the Lakota. And after a while, uh, I know that he can speak Lakota, so he does the Lak uh, Lakota and I do the English. So it's, it's like to me, that's feel. Now each one of you out there, teachers, um, anybody, parents, community members, maybe we all have different uh, understandings. Sometimes, like, I teach every day. I teach all the way to K. And I teach, uh, like, uh, OLC a couple of times. And um, right now, uh, like, uh, I have some students who can sit down and tell me who they are where they go to school, how old they are, who their mom and dad are, where they live, and then they can say a good day. And then they start. And so it, it's a very challenging, it's a very tough job. So this is what I know. So that is why we wanted to um, talk about that and see. Uh, we don't want to say that uh, we don't want to get into something that uh, will hurt people, that that will create. Uh, uh, you didn't do this. I knew this. Things like that. But we just wanted to make the Lakota language, the teachings, the methodology. Uh, as strong as possible so that <clears throat> we, uh, that down the line tomorrow, next month, next year that we can make one uh, student that will sit down here and talk Lakota. I know a couple, I know two of them, maybe three, uh, maybe I don't know how many years back when my uh, older son, Ryan, when he graduated from that club, there was uh, one in that 
class that can speak Lakota, and he comes up here every night, six o'clock, and I, I mention his name, James, he can speak Lakota. So maybe there's others that can speak Lakota that I don't know, but I just say what I, I know. And I know that uh, I, I worked in the Eagle Butte, from Pakini to Oshpa Topa every day for three years and I, I there was nothing up there nobody I go up to Sisseton my brother lives up there he knows everybody there and he told me there's very very few speakers there I all the way from zero to the oldest one so there are nobody, I don't have statistics in front of me. I never, I didn't do no, no survey, nothing. But I know, because I've been doing this for a long time. So that is why we wanted to do this. And I hope Tarash is listening, because it's going to be hard to get that information, what, what we do. Sometimes it's very hard to share. Sometimes, uh, it's, we, we do have, we don't have it written. Whatever we do every day, uh, it, it's something that uh, is not put on paper so that, I, so that you can go in and say, oh, this is what they do here when they teach the Lakota language. Maybe it's just uh, 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 like, like a curriculum. Curriculum, all it does, well, curriculum is a road. It guides you, tells you what to teach, tells you what the child should learn. So maybe you just make notes. So it's, it's hard. It's really hard to share. So I thought I would just, and if any of you out there just, you know, teaching is very hard. Any. Any subject, teacher, it's really hard. And uh, just like today, uh, sometimes we we have uh, we always say that school is good, this school is not good. Uh, we don't learn nothing here. We learn lots lots over there, and then we don't know. But we say that because we hear it somewhere. All the, like, uh, I think I came up here one time and I said, all these schools are doing the best they can. All these schools have professional teachers. And if they were not professional, they wouldn't be there. Because somebody, someday they have to go through a process. Somebody has to look at where they come from, where they go to school. What, what their strengths are, what they can do, their character. So, it, you know, they're the best. So, I don't know why, I, you know, sometimes we hear things like that. But uh, it's, it's really hard to be in edu education. is something that, you know, uh, sometimes you read about it in the paper, what, what they're uh, up in, in the state level, what they're doing. It was just in the rapid city paper. Some some math teachers will get this much dollars, and then there's no. How about the other teachers? Are they getting getting a pay raise? Are they getting a piece of that pot? I don't know. So there's a lot of things that go on like that. And at the same time, we have uh, locally. Like, uh, I think we got into that discussion on, on Sunday at the school, and uh, uh, the, the, I brought up the question. I said, "Where? How many? Uh, like in one, in the way I work, uh, we produce so many uh, teachers." And we produce so many like Lakota teachers, Lakota teachers who are fluent. And 
do you, and then I, I, I talk to myself, like, do you see any here that were produced from our college? And I said, well, I, I see one there. What about the other schools? Do you see any? And then uh, the other one was, to, uh, uh, I think next week, uh, we're going to come up here with, uh, we have uh, four teachers there. That uh, I think it's called Teach for America. And uh, they wanted to uh, be interviewed. And I think Tom's going to, Tom and I will do that. And if we can set it up like uh, Wednesday evening next week, we're going to come up here and sit with them and uh, ask them questions. What what can we do? Or do you like it here? Or what are you teaching? How are you getting around? And then maybe uh, we can see where we are going. And, and then maybe we can, like, later on, maybe someday the schools will sit down and say, yeah, look, this one came from uh, the College, and hey, that this person is a certified K8, K12, Lakota studies, slash math, slash reading. This person uh, comes from Texas, uh, through the Teach for America, and this person will be a math teacher. And then, people that select these uh, teachers will have a better, like, uh, they will see and let the parents know, or the community people know who is going to be teaching their children. Now, some of those things come up. Those questions come up. So I thought I'd just share that this evening. And uh, I always touch on the Lakota language because sometimes uh, I've been doing this for uh, like uh, every day and uh, uh, I was, I think I mentioned this a couple of times or a few times, many times. And I use two words and that's persevere and commitment. And then I always say that I'm a active uh, and advocate of the Lakota language. So I thought I'd just share this, and I'm not, I uh, hope I don't make any waves, but I just wanted to sometimes uh, share things that I hear uh, when you're in education and you hear a lot of things like this. And every one of these teachers are doing their best. And, and, and then, when you're in this Lakota language, uh, advocate or active, then uh, we do have a lot of methodologies. Uh, and then we have the orthography. Sometimes uh, we run into that too. So. That is what I wanted to share this evening. And then, uh, then we have, uh, sometimes we have questions on assessment. Uh, how do you measure, like, uh, say I've been teaching since September. That's, uh, that's five months now. And then, year before before that for a whole school year and I see these children every day and now we we do I mean, we do have an assessment and we're supposed to do that twice a year in the beginning and in April and this is from Ocheti Shakum and so every day when I see these children, I, uh, I always, you know, it, it, it makes me like uh, how uh, 
I wonder if you're learning. I wonder if you're retaining things, the words, the sentences, things that we tell. And uh, we have never assessed Lakota language. Uh, this, I think this is one of the first time that we're going to be assessing by uh, the students. And I know that other, like, other places, like when you work in a language, uh, but I think, the, uh, I think there's one called ACTFL, or OPI, Oral Proficiency Interview. And that's, I think that's used, at, it's still used at the OLC. And that's an interview. And during that interview, uh, I think Kahashi does it. He's on the, he's one of the uh, testers. And uh, maybe I'll ask him about it Saturday. So there's, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, how do I know? But the only way that we, c- we will know is when we make one, one of these students uh, proficient enough to sit here and talk in the Lakota language. So that's enough on the Lakota language. And uh, I want to say good evening again, and you're listening to the Lakota Storytelling Hour here on Q Radio, 90.1, right up here, Porcupine Brute, uh, 88.7 in Rapid City, and my uh, granddaughter just called and she said she would be listening. So there I uh, say good evening, okay, and take care and uh, keep going to school. Also on the internet, qradio.org, all over this world. Thank you for listening. And if you're traveling on the road, it's going to be dark pretty soon, so be careful. There's deer out there, and the roads are all dry. This morning it was probably snow pad, but now it's dry. Ikhtami <laughs> traveling together and they were going merrily along when some suddenly out of the woods dashed a ferocious grizzly. 
The bear attacked them. Iktomi ran away and hid himself. Flint boy stood his ground. With his sharp flint knife, he stabbed the grizzly. He stabbed him repeatedly. The bear died. Iktomi came out of hiding. Kola, friend, he said to Flint boy, you did a great deed. It was nothing, said Flint boy. He was skinning the bear with his flint knife. This will make a fine warm robe for my bed, he commented. Then he cut off the claws. This will make a fine bear claw necklace, he added. I am impressed, said Iktomi. I am so impressed I will call you from now on, Musunkala, younger brother. No, no, said Flint Boy. You must call me elder brother, because it was I who killed the bear. I will call you little brother. They argued. They quarreled about it. They came to a lake. Kola, said Iktomi. Let's make up. Aren't we old friends? Does it matter that we call what we call each other? You are right, friend. Let's never quarrel again, said Flint Boy. Come over here, said Iktomi, who was standing at the lake shore, right at the edge. Look down here. Look at this big fish. Flint Boy went to the lake and looked into the water. Iktomi came up behind Flint Boy and toppled him into the lake. The waters were deep. Flint Boy sank immediately way down to the bottom. He could not swim up because he was so heavy. He was made of flint rock. He never came up again. He drowned. You can still see the bubbles at the spot to where Iktomi pushed him in. Oh, 
خاتم وای هوشا خاتم ها اولش کن این خواه کلی خواهت من این اکهای اتمن دم اختر تلوی و شکل کلی ما کلی ما این وناب کن زلی لاست تا از ایت ها اکتلوی تا اکتلوی هر من نزدیک نتو که اکتلوی چی نیل براش نتا کن یک تا من تلوی Tato mňa je na imažina. Mňa sú mňa. Mňa kýli čoľa tán chvaká také a mňa sú čin k teloje. Čo vajú mňa šila aj tá mňa. Ja. Mňa čo mňa sú čin k teloje. Čo mňa čo mňa chvaká také a kto je loje. Čo je tam chvaká taká miečo mi sú čím v tvoje. A to je môžem sa môj kto uvašiť. A môj a môj kto. Kto za kha? No je môj. A kto je môj kvaň taká? To je to môj a môj kto ho na hova to môj môj bril a ľudí. Хвала, никто не. Ну, то есть, а то мы там прислали печаться, а вы им печень, кто ж не было. А там хакал так, а то я им пункты было. Вали вообще, ну, же не могла, так хорошо не было. А им не же, а было ли аварии, они же не хотели на мало, как и кто мне. Ведь я уйду отхожу. Я не могла, не же. این کودک اتمن خو، یوغان ویات خنک از هر هیاهی داره. تا وقتی مکش وقتی نزدیک کودک اتمن، کودک اتمن تا وقتی مانکش نتبلا من باتشی نزدیک من اگرنه مکای کتمنی، لذت آهیم ما، و پاکت نمیکت. منیکی لیلاش میشه، چی دوایی مکش دوایی اون کار تریات که. Mňa čo nám sme nemáhli vyjať. Mňa káta dečí okýšne. Mňa mňa nekde. Mňa čo to. Mňa čo je tchoš a mňa mňa vlečá i mňa vôja, keď je mňa etá. Mňa 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 mňa vôja, keď je mňa etá. Но это не то, что так уж не сделает. Как хошли, хошли, и мы хожи, мы хожи, и 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 мы хожи, اون چیم ها تا ای تو هست. حالا نکلت خوش تو اخلاق به هاتا. اخلاق که لبه که همه تو اخلاق به هاتا نشی. اکیچا آتا و تکاش اکیچا. هرچه اکتر از آنها تو که دخیل این نخبه نما و تلا ها. تهی نکنه هی وانس به هاتا. Mä et hoistele lakhoittaa, että hän on ollut ohi tikaa, 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 خوش لی اکتومی لی و نلی مدخو هوا ایچوکت و نکم مدخو شکر و چرا نهی هتوک اکتومی نچی هچان 
From this story, a long time ago, we sit around and tell a story. And <clears throat> what it teaches is that um, from this story, uh, the Flint boy stood his ground, and Ikhtomi did not help. He ran and right behind the bushes, and he did not help Flint boy. And then one of the Lakota virtues is Ohitika, that means bravery. That came in there. And then understand uh, brother and friend. And then uh, when you're with even uh, Kola, which is a friend, watch yourself and don't be fooled. I think those are the ones that I wrote down. So, that is the story of Flint Boy and the Grizzly. So, I want to say thanks for listening and thank you for uh, sharing my uh, uh, personal or brief Uh, my knowledge on the Lakota language and also the story. And I want to thank my wife Karen for coming up here and uh, reading the story in the English language. And I wanted to talk to her about Rojupi, that's planting, because she's really into flower planting. She always, uh, March, April, May, she uh, plants a lot of flowers, different kinds of flowers. Uh, when we go outside the house, uh, in the mornings I, I uh, walk around the house and I see red flowers with white uh, things around. I see purple flowers. I see white flowers. I see little flowers. So one day, uh, my dream is to make her a little greenhouse. I've been saying this for a long time. When will that be? Uh, in the near future. <laughs> no, I wanted to do it this, this time. <clears throat> I have someone that can make a uh, handy with a uh, uh, like Kelly. He's in the house now, so I wanted to uh, show him uh, what I wanted to do and uh, make, have him make a little uh, little dream, uh, greenhouse for you before uh, so you know it's just something I wanted to do for you because you're really into that so next year when I come up here I will say uh, Karen has a greenhouse a little greenhouse for all her flowers and maybe this time around too we'll try to grow some uh, uh, squash and corn Little, little bit. I'm speechless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like you told me. I'm not. <laughs> and then, and maybe someday down the road, if you come up here again, I wanted to talk to you about one word, and that's called sustainability. So get ready for that. Not next. Uh, I think next time we're going to come up here with uh, 
uh, the teachers from uh, in our school that uh, that work for Teach for America. They wanted to come up here and uh, tell the tell who they are and what to do. And that is all I have this evening, and I want to thank Q Radio and thank you for listening. And I will share another story next time. And I want to thank Karen for coming up here. So I will turn it back over to Studio A, and I think Lloyd is gone, and I think James is here. James is in the house, and I mentioned his name, and I hope I hope he heard it on his way up here. He is we were one of the handful of Lakota speakers that I know about. James and Sheena. For James, I'll turn it back over to you. Rashtayalo. And Lloyd, thank you.